We've got a new boosted build to share with you from the Toyota back catalogue, or is it? Last sold in 2014 in the USA, and here in Australia, 2016 like this model, but our mates in the Middle East can still walk into the dealer and order a 2022 FJ Cruiser. While there's mixed opinions on the retro styling of the FJ, its off-road capabilities and Toyota durability still make it a popular choice as an adventure rig. We've got some exciting new products to share that's going to improve performance on and off-road, so let's take a look, starting with the exterior. Up top, we worked with Trailmax to trial their first roof platform system for the FJ. Working from scan data sourced from the AIC, the distinctive design looks great it follows the roof and integrates with front and rear light bars, with provision on the sides too for those that need it. Up front, the Rhino 4x4 bar integrates really well with the front guards and tucks in nicely. We blacked out the bash plate and driving light surrounds. Side steps we swapped out the low hanging original equipment for these steel steps, tucked up tight and refinished in black. For the ride and handling, US-based Icon Suspension has great packages that are well-engineered and comprehensive. We wanted to improve the wheel travel and ride quality, so we went with their impressive Stage 7 system with billet arms. Tuned for the FJ, Icon's CDC valve technology allows for quick and easy compression and dampening adjustment. The front adjustable coilovers provide between 0 and 3.5 inches of front lift. The coilovers are extended travel with remote reservoirs providing increased droop travel with the upper control arms. Billet aluminium rear upper and lower links offer on-vehicle pinion angle adjustment. The kit also has an adjustable rear track bar for proper rear axle placement under the vehicle. And best of all, it's a bolt-on system. There's no cutting or welding necessary to install. Stopping power has been upgraded with DBA rotors and pads and some Harrop braided stainless lines and the fluid upgraded by our Harrop Performance Centre team. In another first, we worked with our friends at Forgeline to design this all new Forge three-piece wheel that not only looks tough, but can take a beating. The centers are a machined finish in a tinted clear and the barrels are powder coated satin black. Sizing is 17 by nine with a zero offset and wrapped in the awesome on and off-road capable Toyo Tires Open Country RTs in a 29570 profile. It's worth noting that this is the biggest tyre size that will mount on the factory rear location. And our fab team whipped up this neat rear camera mount to replace the factory wheel cover piece that we ditched. Renowned for being capable, the FJ does a lot of good stuff off-road. The factory rear locker and A-Track system is a great feature, but we wanted to lift the performance potential further by installing our front E-locker for the ultimate in twin-locked traction. The switch we wired into the overhead console, which is clean and out of the way. Our diff breather kit takes care of protecting the front and rear axles and transmission internals from dirt and water ingress. Now let's talk performance. There's only ever been one engine option for the FJ Cruiser, the 1GR FE, as the 4.0-litre V6. This V6 has been around a long time, and it's still found in many models globally, such as the 70 and 200 series Land Cruiser, Prado, Fortuna, and the North American 4Runner. In stock form, it has reasonable performance, with Toyota quoting 200 kilowatts or 268 horsepower and 380 newton meters or 280 foot-pounds of torque. It's when they get loaded up with accessories and bigger tires that the performance suffers, and you can definitely feel that with this rig. So with our growing range of superchargers for the Toyota engine family, such as 1UR, 
3UR and 2GR, it was a logical development track for our team to engineer a solution for the 1GR. We're really proud to design and manufacture our superchargers in-house, using the knowledge and resources from our Australian and USA teams. From concept design through to prototypes and testing, then production, we maintain quality at every step. Our TVS1900 kit features Eaton technology. It's recognised as world's best by OEMs, like our program with Toyota Australia with the first TVS1320 used on an OEM program for the 2GR FE. Positive displacement with the TVS1900 delivers 1.9 litres of air per revolution to the engine delivering greater efficiency and airflow. With lots of room under the hood, thermal control is managed efficiently with our high density intercooler core in the manifold, integrated with a front mount low temp radiator to manage inlet air temperature and greatly enhance the performance potential in all climates. We focus carefully on high levels of finish and ease of installation. Our engineers have achieved this with a really nice engine bay integration. Like all of our systems, an important design feature is the integrated supercharger bypass system, which relieves boost under light load conditions, reducing drive loss and improving fuel economy. Naturally, if you're using that extra power, there's going to be demand for more fuel and air. But with a factory 160 litre fuel tank, the range is there for those extended trips. With our TVS1900 system installed and tuned, we've got some great gains. We baselined the car at 224 horsepower and 221 foot-pounds of torque. Now with our power adder installed, we see those numbers jump to 300 horsepower and 302 foot-pounds, which is well over 33% gain. And importantly, with positive displacement, it's everywhere in the rev range, all with a modest peak boost of just six to seven PSI. So there you have it. The drivability is fantastic. Our team have done an awesome job. It's only really under light load that you hear that supercharger whine and it's brilliant. Learn more at harrop.com.au and be sure to subscribe to Harrop TV for all of our content as released.